Well, top rank is just pulling whole cards and calling bluffs left and right. They feeling like they're in a position of power with their two generals, leaders, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Lomachenko, Vasal Lomachenko, and uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. We back. Good for the Sports TV. We up in this thing doing what we do. Um, shout out to everybody supporting us, man. We continue to uh, kick these videos off and... Um, no, I'm shooting this one early in the morning, <laughs> later at night, depending on what coach you want. But um, um, seeing an interview that Lomachenko um, called out Mikey, he doubled down on what Bob Aram said, and should be interesting. <laughs> um, they call him bluffs and pulling hoe cards over the top rank, and that's something that you don't see. And um, it's been said many a times that Bob Aram feel like he got the two best fighters in the world, and Terrence Crawford and Lomachenko. And now he's putting words behind, you know, he putting action behind words. And, um, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, Lomachenko said, you know, he couldn't afford Mikey coming off a of shoulder surgery. Uh, he wants to see how his shoulder working. And then he would like to fight Mikey next year. Bob Aram said he'd like to make the fight in March. And, um, you know, we'll see. Mikey Garcia has been one of the biggest name droppers and duckers in the sport of boxing. People don't like when I say that. You know, Gamboa, um... You know, some people say he Duck Bud at 140. Um, you know, they want to fight Linares. You know, call him a quitter after the Salido fight. He didn't go up and actually fight Earl. So, at the end of the day, you know, everything is hard to take Mikey name. But no, hard to take Mikey word at face value. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if he... i like to see this fight happen. If he just chooses to fight Richard Comey next. And uh, then they, him and Lomachenko fighting a big undisputed clash on ESPN. On Showtime, on Fox, however they want to do it, it sounds like that's going to be the hang up, the network, the money. Um, but it's in Bob Aram's best interest to, to do what Mikey wants. To be honest, excuse me, Mikey is in control here because Mikey has different avenues. Mikey can go to 140, Mikey can go to 147, Mikey can stay at 135, but Mikey has a bigger a range of, of, of fights for him. He'd go to 140 and fight the winner of the World Box Super Series Tournament if he wanted to. You know, Rashad can shut that up for him. You know, he can move up to 47 and challenge Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Earl Spence. You know, Lomachenko, he ain't got that. You know, he ain't moving down. Tank ain't moving up no time soon. He ain't moving up in the interview. Said he wanted to take time to get acclimated to 135 pounds probably a year or two before he even considered a move. So at the end of the day, it's at Bob. It's at Bob Aaron's best interest to overpay Mikey Garcia because if they really feel that uh, Lomachenko could beat Mikey Garcia, um, then you know it's it's worth the it's worth every penny because the notoriety that he gonna get after beating Mikey is gonna be huge. And if he can dispatch Mikey, that's gonna be nice. But top rank fighters are feeling confident. They feeling good. Bob Aaron feeling himself. They're in a groove right now. They feel they can do whatever they want to do. Okay. And um, they putting, you know, like I said, they putting uh, action behind the words, man. And uh, I'm interested to see if Mikey responds. I'm pretty sure he'll be on ES News and they'll ask him about it. Will it be more posturing, more pump faking, or, you know, will he go ahead and sign his Richard Comey contract, fight Comey, um, supposed to be on Fox, and then turn around and fight Mikey uh, Lomachenko. Now, if he runs over to the zone, the Lomachenko fight ain't going to happen. Bob Aram ain't sending Lomachenko to no app. All right, not now he didn't even want to send him to the ESPN Plus app because Lomachenko returned about versus Jose Pedraza that it turned out to be December eighth was supposed to be a fight that fell on the ESPN Plus app. He was like, "Not my precious Lomachenko, not fighting on the app." But um, in this fight, I favor Mikey, but mentally, I don't know if Mikey think he could beat Lomachenko. He says he could beat him when Lomachenko, you know, said his name a couple a year ago or two years ago. He pulled up on ESPN on him, and that's the picture where you see him taking the picture. And um, Mikey feel, you know, Mikey say he feel confident, but I think Mikey don't like to challenge himself. You know, he say he want to challenge himself, but he never does. Not versus Crawford, not versus Earl, not versus Gamboa. Um, so you don't know if he truly wants to to challenge himself, you know, or if he's just happy in the position he being in. But, you know, it's the reason why he never been in a 50-50 fighter. He never been an underdog because he never took that chance. And Bob Bear McCream, when he said he was the same way at top rank, he didn't want to take chances. He just was... You know, happy being in his zone. And that's how he has always been. But, you know, that's half the story told. Mikey Garcia said, no matter if I fought the Goliath or I fought Tom, and J Tom from Tom and Jerry, 
um, or Jerry from Tom and Jerry, I was getting the same payday. And they said it was the same 300 k no matter who I fought. So why risk my record? I'm going to get the same money and top rank going to pro up off me. You know, so I feel him on that. So I'm not going to take a risk. And the money going to be the uh, same regardless of the risk. So, you know, they'll tell you little tea leaves, but they won't tell you the entire story. That's why it's always good to get both sides of the story. But uh, like I said before, you know, the business side is in Mikey Garcia favor. He's the A side. He got all the power here. Without Lomachenko, I mean, for Lomachenko, without Mikey Garcia, Lomachenko can't do nothing. You know, he don't have no other star that's going to come up there and dance with him. Either he got to move back down and get some of these featherweights coming up to super featherweight, or he's going to have to hope the tank comes from super featherweight and come up, or he's going to help them with Chato come up and fight him and blow up as a star. It's too many what ifs. Mikey Garcia is a for sure, you know, so they got to make the pot sweet. And if it's going over to Fox Showtime, you got to do that. Lomachenko came to Showtime already when Bob lost the purse bid to uh, PBC and came over there and whooped on Gary Russell. It's, it's been proven that PBC can come over there and get a fair shake. You know, I'm not saying that it's not proven on ESPN because, yeah, you know, Lenar's got stopped. One of the few fighters that's with another major promoter like Golden Boy, The Zone, or Eddie Hearn, or, or, or PBC, Showtime, you know, whatever promotional company, Mayweather Promotions, Lou DeBella, whatever. So, like I said, the business world, but the style-wise, man, talk te te uh, technical, the technical, the technical part of this fight, man. I'm um, sorry, it's late. I'm tired. I'm trying to push him through this video. Talk the technical part, man. Um, you know, for Lomachenko to beat him, it's going to have to be with his movement. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have to be pure. It's going to be his movement. got to be too much for Mikey. got to be too slick. Well, yeah, too slick. His movement got to be too rubbery. Um, his angles got to be too good. Everything got to be on point. You know what I'm saying? He has no margin for error. You know, he got to frustrate Mikey. I think you can see him frustrating Mikey and Mikey getting frustrated and quitting. I, can, I don't know why I could see that happen. I always thought... That was a real possibility in this fight, but I think I think Mikey fundamentals are really, really good. He said if he said Lenares was too big of a guy in the ring for him and he hasn't grown into the weight class, that's just telling me if and everybody said, Well, Lamar's hand speed was this better. I like Mikey footwork better than Lenares footwork. And obviously Lenares do have faster hands, but I like Mikey's timing, Mikey's patience, Mikey's uh, ring IQ to set up shots. And I ultimately think, you know, Mikey would, would stop Lomachenko. That's just my personal thoughts. You know, you do wonder, you know, mentally, does he want the Lomachenko fight? Sometimes he seems like he body body like Master P. Uh, other times he just don't feel like he's engaged or want those type of fights sometimes. That's the type of vibe I get from him. But everything would be set up with his jab, set up with how technical he is, his footwork, putting pressure on Lomachenko. And Lomachenko just sits right in front of you. Lomachenko ain't no defensive wizard. He sit right in front of you. He give you movement. I think Mikey Garcia, Robert Garcia, Big G will figure out a good game plan on how to beat Lomachenko. And I think it would be involved with a good jab and a good left hook to the body. It's going to do it for him. I think they're going to punch with Lomachenko. I think they're going to slow him down to the body. And ultimately, if Lenares was too big for, for Lomachenko, Mikey's going to be way too powerful and strong for Lomachenko. I understand that Mikey doesn't have the, the great hand speed, but... Um, time it makes up for um, lack of speed. You know, Mikey got a lot of time and a lot of patience, a lot of cool, calm demeanor in the ring. Um, and that's what it's going to be, in my opinion. But I think Lomachenko had to get him with just a good movement, good awkwardness, um, you know, keep making him miss and, and making him pay and just, just being pesty and pushing Mikey back and keep Mikey frustrated and cut Mikey, you know, keep working up and down. It would be a good fight. Ultimately, I just think Mikey is just physically too big, packs too big of a punch. If Lenares can put you down like that, Mikey will kick you like that. He's going to put you completely out. At 135, Mikey Garcia is a certified hard-hitting goon. And his hand speed is underrated, man. I had to notice how good, how good his hand speed was, man. I knew his footwork was good. And his footwork ain't nothing flashy where he going to get in there and start doing the Apollo Creed and teaching Rocky how to, how to move his feet. It's technical, you know. It's, it's, it's pace in the ring. It's it's cut. It's trying to cut you off, close the distance. He ain't the greatest at cutting the ring off. We've seen that versus Broner. You know, he couldn't cut the ring off. But the thing about it is he's real, real patient. He's real technical. He know how to close the distance. And his hand speed is underrated, man. His power at 135 is just, it's just real. I don't see any lightweight, anybody around lightweight beating him. Tank ain't beating him. I don't see Lomachenko beating him. But I admire Lomachenko's courage to get in there with him. 
And um, ultimately, I think he's going to get his dick knocked in the dirt. And uh, his chin going to be rubbed on the cement. And I just think Mikey Garcia is a, it's too much of a good fighter and physically too big for him. You know what I'm saying? And like he said in that interview, he said, I ain't no no natural lightweight. You know what I'm saying? I got to grow into the weight. And like I said, they so in a, in a hurry to make that fight. They going to get kid clap. You know? They clap. Mess around with Mikey Garcia. But that's if Mikey Garcia mentally want to fight. That's if they can get the business side. Uh, with the fight, if the business I can get done, like I said, man, and so I turn on the tape and it tells me something different, I'm riding with Mikey Garcia, you know, to stop Lomachenko. You know, he's too powerful. You know what I'm saying? He's too smart. He's too quick. He just, he can match him in wits. Lomachenko just has a speed advantage, but time and beat speed and fundamental technique break, beats awkward fighters like Lomachenko. Or they can be awkward fighters like Lomachenko, but um, let me know what y'all think. He did pull his whole card in the interview. Um, they did call Mikey Bluff. They just going down the PVC ladder, calling dudes Bluff in alphabetical order. It'd be nice if he said, you want to come up, Bob said, you want to come up and fight uh, Errol Spence, would you come up and fight er uh, Crawford then? You know, if you want to fight Lom Lomachenko, come fight Crawford. So, shit getting hot. It's getting a lot of pressure, a lot of public pressure putting on PVC. Obviously, Al don't talk, but Mikey does. Let's see if they get the fight done, man. Um, shout out to everybody supporting us, man. I appreciate it. Good fellow Sports TV. Don't forget, we on Facebook. And you can email me now with video requests, source links. Open my email up to you. All those links are in the description. You want to donate that link there as well. And uh, y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time we gone.